Hey, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Are you ready? Yeah! Well, all right. The first thing that you must do on your Samsung S23 Ultra is this here. Change the function of the side key right here. Because out the box, when you press it, Bixby comes up. And man, if you want to easily turn off your phone without pressing multiple buttons at one time, this is what you do. Pull down the notification shade. Then in the right top corner right there, the settings wheel, press that. Then in the magnifying glass icon, press that. And type in the word side. S-I-D-E. And right there, you see the word side key. Press that. And there you see the functions for the double press and the press and hold. Now we're gonna concentrate right now on the press and hold. Because right now you see, Wake Bixby is checked. Uh-uh, check power off menu. Do that. Okay, now I got power off menu checked. Let me go back to my home. Now check this out. It's just that simple. Let's get to the next tip. Let's roll. Now the next thing I'm about to show you is pretty damn cool because this phone right here has a 4K display. But coming out the box, is set to 1080p. What? So if you want to go ahead and get that 4K drip on your S23 Ultra, this is all you have to do. Pull down the notification shade, hit that settings wheel again, scroll down to where it says display, tap on that. Now scroll down to where it says screen resolution, tap on that. As you can see, FHD is already selected. That's 1080p. But if you want to save even more battery life or whatever, you can choose 720 over here, HD+. But nah, we're going for the gusto. We didn't pay $1,200 or $1,300 for this phone. So man, we're going for 4K. No cap on that one. There's WQHD+. Select that and hit apply. And now since your S23 Ultra is set to 4K resolution, man, you can enjoy amazing 4K content on your Samsung device. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, the next thing that I want to show you is how to create a widget stack. Man, oh man, oh man, this right here is life to me. And as you can see right now, I got my Beat Studio Buds widget on deck and everything. But I want to go ahead and create me a stack. Now, what a stack is, is it's a bunch of widgets that you use a whole lot all in one place. So you can scroll side to side from one to another with ease. Instead of opening the app draw and trying to find out what app that you want to open and all that. All you have to do is long press on the widget. Then right where it says create stack, hit that. Scroll down and choose the widget of your choice. Let's go with Facebook. Choose the kind of widget of Facebook or whatever app you choose. Tap on this one right here. Then click the word add. Bam, there it is. Now you began to stack. Yeah, boy. Now let's add one more widget for demonstration purposes. Long press. This time hit edit stack. Click that pencil. Then on this screen, scroll down to another app that you want to add. Let's go with Chrome. Tap on that. Select that, click add, bam, there it is. And people, you have a lit widget stack with ease. For shizzle. Now, okay, this next thing I'm about to show you, man, this will put your phone in beast mode, meaning that it'd be a whole lot faster and all that. Check this out. Pull down the notification shade again, click the settings wheel again, bam. Scroll all the way down to the bottom to where it says about phone, click on that. Then go down to where it says software information. Tap on that. Now go down to where it says build number. Hit that quite a few times. Then enter your password. Let me move this back because you guys might be trying to copy my password. <laughs> I'm just kidding. And after you enter your password and all that, this page will come up. Here's what you do next. Go back to settings, scroll down, and now you see developer options, right? Click on that. Now scroll all the way down till you see the animation options. 
which is window animation scale, translation animation scale, etc. And what this would do is speed up the process of the animations on your smartphone. Check this out. We're going to go to automation scale 0.5 on all three, even on the transition, even on the duration. We're not going to waste time with this at all. And after those options are engaged, man, your phone is on 100% beast mode. Snappy as ever. He ain't lying. And man, check this out. Out the box, when you swipe to the right, this comes up. The Google feed or some other kind of news feed. I keep mine on. But if you want to turn yours off, all you have to do is long press on the screen, scroll over to the left, where it says on, disable that, hit your home button, <laughs> and now it's gone. You're welcome. Now check this out. If you're coming from an iPhone like myself, or better yet, if you don't like these three navigation buttons at the bottom, and you used to swipe gestures, let me show you how to do on this S23 Ultra. Pull down a navigation shade, click the settings wheel at the top right, then hit the magnifying glass and type in NAV. And under display, select navigation type. And here are the choices of navigation bars to choose from. You get the buttons which are already out the box engaged already, or the swipe gestures that you're used to. Let's choose swipe gestures. Bam. Swipe up. Voila. Gloriousness is engaged. Now this next thing I'm about to show you, man, this is a bonus. I mean, you've been rocking with me this long and watching the video, so I gotta give this one for the free. I'm about to show you how to change your icon and your OS colors so it match your wallpaper. All you have to do is long press on the screen, go down to the bottom left where it says wallpaper and style. Tap on that, tap on color palette. Now when you tap on that color palette selection and all that, what you wanna do first is Make sure you click this at the bottom which says apply palette to app icons. Bam. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, what this feature does is it reads all the colors that's on your wallpaper and apply it to your UI, your apps and everything. So as you can see up top, there's your UI right there. That's how that's going to affect that. There's your phone right there and then the layout of your calculator. So here's the first selection. I'm not feeling that. In real time, you can jump from one to another to see how it's gonna affect your OS and everything. I don't like that neither. Let's swipe over. You see there's more selections and all that. You see what that red's about. Kind of too much pinkish to me. That, that got a little bit blue in it. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna stick with that one, then hit apply. Hit the home button. And as you can see, there's the new drip on your icons. Let's pull down the notification shade. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everything's on deck. Okay. And fam, check this out. If you want to see more lit tutorials and tech videos, man, make sure you subscribe and become a member of Team Lit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We'd love to have you aboard for the litness. Woo. And remember, everybody, to get money, get respect, and enjoy your tech. Be easy.